All warfare is based on deception. What's up guys, Jimmy or Chaos, welcome back, and a lot of you know that some new customization packs dropped for Call of Duty Ghost today. The Antagonist Pack, or the Bad Guys, you can get some of the Bad Guys from Call of Duty History, and the Hazmat Guy, but the biggest one is the fact that you can be Makarov. There's a Legend Pack where you get Makarov, you get a patch, you get a weapon camo, you get the background, and you get the character skin of one of the dirtiest, raunchiest, nastiest bad guys in Call of Duty history, which a lot of you already know that, Vladimir Makarov, and he's also, the, the he's known for being one of the bad guys, but he's really known for the Modern Warfare 2 mission called No Russian that brought a ton of drama, not even just in gaming, but in, in the real world. People did not like the fact that it depicted acts of terrorism and mass murder carried out by you, the player. Even made it to the point where you could skip over this mission and not play it. So, this is the No Russian class setup for Makarov. And I'm going to pull it up on the screen here and show you guys, even show you the, the background you can see, the character skin. And I'll show you the patch at the end when you see it on the video there. So, it's up on the screen. This is the class setup I gave. And this kind of looks like the weed camo a little bit. It's a really cool camo. Remington R5, because I asked you on Twitter, uh, Makarov is using the M4A1 in the No Russian mission. And the, most people said to use the Remington. Some people said the SC-2010, and a couple people said the Honey Badger, but most everybody said just use the Remington. That's the closest. So we got the grip on it, the extended mags, which is what he had, and he also toted an M9. So we have an M9A1, and his lethal was a grenade. Now, perks, Makarov was stealthy, but he was he, you just never caught him. It wasn't that he was stealthy as he would just be like, not on the radar he just he was two steps ahead of you so we've got agility for increased speed quick draw because we're running an ar dead silence because makarov you just never knew when he was coming and scavenger because he needed a lot of ammunition in that in that campaign so i put that on there and then to finish it out the strike package i debated back and forth and i ran the support package ballistic vest because he's running when actually you see him on the screen here, he's got a he's got a ballistic vest on the small just because it seems like a weapon that he would like to use, and the squad mate because he always had henchmen with him. So our squad mate was his henchman, and that is the Makarov class setup in Call of Duty Ghost. It's it's kind of a balancing act because up until this point we've been running around shooting Captain Price because nobody else has been around. So now you kind of have that. Price versus Makarov showdown in these matches, and that's all you're going to see is people in hazmat suits, Price suits, or Makarov skins, and that's basically what is going on right now. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've bought any of these packs. Probably look for me on Twitter tonight. I'll probably have some to give away for free, and... Drop a like on this if you enjoyed the, the custom class setup for Makarov. Give me suggestions if you think we should have done something else. Some people will probably say he should have ran an LMG because all the guys were running LMGs and no Russian. But he was actually running the M4A1. He wasn't running an LMG. So I tried to keep it as close as I could to what he was actually doing. And this is what we came up with. Thanks as always for watching, guys. Don't forget to share this. Tweet at me if you have any suggestions or comments on the class setup. And tweet me some pictures if you rock it and you do good with it. I'll see you later.